Spirits in the Material World off 1981's Ghost in the Machine. Remember, Sting at this time, and probably even before, was making demos of his stuff. You can find the demos on YouTube. Every, uh, every little thing she does is magic. Spirits in the Material World, Invisible Sun, Secret Journey. But here's the thing to remember about Spirits in the Material World. Lately, Stuart, or relatively lately, Stuart Copeland's making videos where he's been talking about his parts and stuff on the records. And I've been, I've been saying I have a couple videos, maybe one or two are named Dear Stuart Copeland, where I've just beseeched the man to sit at his sacred Grove Studios or wherever the hell he wants and sit and just go through all the records and all the songs. Imagine going through like, I mean, all right, here's Bombs Away. Okay, you know, Susie and the Banshees tape. I got it and I blah, blah, blah. Or, or Voices Inside My Head. Or, I mean, especially like Bed's Too Big Without You. Or um, There's a Hole in My Life. You know, it, there's so many things. There's so many ways that Copeland is talented. Remember, you got to give him props for, as a drummer, as a musician, also as a live drummer, when you see that footage of them playing live, out of hand. L again, I've said this before. Listen to the Gateshead, um, uh, Bring On The Night. Just watch how Stuart Copeland handles the choruses there. It's out of hand. Co Stuart, I don't know if you remember what you used to do there, if you see this, but go back to Gateshead on, your, on YouTube and just watch how you go. And I, uh, bring on the night. Eh, 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 eh. And you have those upbeats, like in Spirits in the Material World. Copeland makes the, the upbeats. He turns around and he goes, ba, 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 ba. It's just out of hand. Anyway, Spirits in the Material World, where we are here, Stewart himself talks about it being very tricky. I think it's his knife's edge to play. You know, the thing is, if you really had only the, the, the studio recording to go by, I mean, that's, it is. It, there's a few things. The way Sting kind of sings the vocal, kind of where he places it, and also the way he places the bass line. Dun, 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 dun. And he does... Something like that with the bass, but it's un it's unconventional, you know. And it really it really what used to happen ultimately in the olden days is we police fans used to consider the bass drum on Spirits in the Material World the and of two and the and of four. Dead. One and two and three and four and 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 because you were thinking about the upbeat blah 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 as the downbeat and just like Roxanne. I mean Roxanne gave us a precedent. Blam 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 Do you know what I mean? But it's not, it's the upbeat. So that's why the bass drum falls on the two and the four, just like a snare drum, okay? You know, if you're playing it, like that's how it would be played if you were doing it like two and four with the snare. You know what I mean? Versus. Hang on, bear with me, I'm getting old. There's a, which is just how Copeland can you get? But that's the thing to remember, seriously, with, with spirits in the material world, whether you're a guitar player or anything, it's just think of, you just put the bass drum where the snare would be if you're playing as a straight up song. It's a, a snare, a snare, a snare. That, that bass drum, switch it to the bass drum, as Copeland did, he's the guru. Turn it around, it's on the bass drum, that's the gig. It's really neat, hopefully Copeland, I've said before, Goes through, he, and Peisty and Tom would probably sponsor him. He'd, and not only that, he could sell it. I mean, after, think about every song. He'd be like, back from Sacred Grove or wherever the hell he wants to go. Whistle Horde. Can't go to Montserrat anymore. Can't even go to the studio anymore. It would just be great. And if he wants to invite me to be Igor, I'll bring in coffee and tea. And while like they're making the videos, I'll start rifling through Stuart's cymbal collection. Make my way past all those green color sounds. He got into the green color sounds in 85 or 6 when they did the Amni Amnesty International. Anyway, he made a, the original Stuart Copeland Peisty ride was blue. Wasn't it? Or was, no, it was green. 
It was green, but then they changed it to blue. Peisty changed it to blue. But there's some green ones out there. I'm serious. Anyway, more videos on the way. The channel is Bonzolium. My name is Terry Keating. I have a band called Deaf Right Ear with Mitch and Mike, my dudes of goals. We went out last night and played a little get the ball rolling at a, at a club at an open mic. It was great. But check out our channel here on YouTube and on Spotify and everything. Deaf Right Ear. Like, eh? Deaf Right Ear. We've got 15 second thoughts, laptop, which is laptop computer, cotton mouth, soul, don't want to, down with, smile, noosa. <laughs> We're just cranking them out left and right. We are, I'm telling you, it's nice to be in a band. I'm 30 now, I'm getting up there. So in my 30s, we're all in our 30s. And we're cranking the tunes. God, if I knew these dudes back in my early 20s, I think we'd be like, <sighs> I think we'd be cranking out the Jimmy James, which we are now at our advanced age of early 30s. So more videos on the way. Remember my band, Deaf Right Ear. Here, please subscribe if you haven't. My friend George Flutus over at Bonomology and PFOZ, People's Front of Zeppelin. My friend Ryan Jurovic at Vintage Drummer here on YouTube. Vintage Drummer 79, more specifically. You know, always forget, check out Bart over at the Drum History Podcast. And, uh, uh, God, David Ward. And uh, uh, Anyway, um, more videos on the way from here and 